CyberDoc, and today we're going to make crab raccoons. Now when you order crab raccoons at a restaurant, usually they're going to use imitation crab meat. I prefer the real deal. You can use imitation if you want. Uh, we've got 8 ounces or 227 grams of crab meat here today. And I'm just going to fork that in here into this bowl. Fork it nice and slowly. Nobody likes a quick forking. Uh, we take our time. This is all about love, taste, and sharing good food. Now, if you had the imitation crab legs, you'd have to lay that out on the cutting board and chop it all up. And This here is pretty much uh, all set the way it is. I'm just going to break it up a little bit. And uh, I'm going to get my dry ingredients in here. I'm going to put some black pepper. I like to get that in first. Um, I'm going to use black pepper today instead of my... Uh, this is my sambal olek, my uh, red pepper. I always have a backup because I live off this stuff. This is uh, ground fresh chili pepper paste. Oh, God. I put this on Cheerios in the morning, I swear to God. Uh, you know what I mean? Don't let your egg roll, guys. Use it or lose it. It's like an ICBIM. ICBM. Uh, I'm going to get a little pepper in here. Not everybody likes a lot, so I'll go a little. I'm not going to put salt because I've got the, uh, and instead of lemon, I'm going to use the uh, Kikoman Panzu uh, citrus seasoned soy. i just put about a teaspoon of that, give or take. Like so. Secret ingredient, a little shot of Worcestershire sauce. I like Lee and Perrin's, or, but I don't have that. So about a teaspoon of that. A little splash there. Fish sauce. You can find this pretty much, well, I got this in an Asian market. Um, but yeah, you can pretty much get this like in smaller bottles elsewhere. They sell that in a grocery store. Asian section, Asian aisle. Just put a little, you don't need a lot of this. A little bit goes a long way. That's good there. And big fatty back on the side. And uh, my garlic. I forgot my garlic. And garlic, I'm going to need another. Let me give this fork a quick rinse. Don't want to get that crab meat in there, cross-contamination. You need about one metric ton of garlic. I'm just kidding. Just add it to taste. And I don't want to go too heavy. I love garlic, but it doesn't love me. It repeats on me. I'll taste this stuff for days. Um, and there we go with that, some organic garlic here. Minced. I cheated. All right. Now, the main ingredient. Cream cheese. I let this get to room temperature. This is eight ounces, also 227 grams all that goodness in there you don't want to use that Chicago cream cheese that New York cream cheese uh, let LA cream cheese you got to go with the Philly Philadelphia brand cream cheese get this to room temperature I'm going to shut this off take a minute and get this all mixed up and fork it nice and slow for you guys and now through the magic of video editing we've got our mixture here now when you go to a restaurant you're usually going to get between 10 and 15 percent of crab mixture um, in a really nice place that's not trying to scam you, you'll probably get 20%. I like to do a 50-50 mix on mine because, and use real crab meat, lump crab meat, um, because it just tastes better. And uh, if you're going to do it, you might as well do it right. Now what we're going to do, um, I'm just going to crack this egg here. I'm going to get that. Some people just use water. Um, or, I'm going to get a quick wash here. Or uh, they'll just use the egg white. Either way, doesn't matter. Um, I'm going to go ahead and use the same. Eh, you know what? I'm going to use another fork here. Thanks to my invisible assistant. Just give this a good little beat. Beat it down. Whip it. Whip it good. We're going to use this as our glue here for the wontons. Now, don't use the two tons or the three tons. Just use the wonton wrapper. Like these, you can buy them uh, at your grocery store. They're in the produce section, refrigerated section. Um, they're all pretty much the same. What do I have here? Frida's, Frida's one-ton wrapper. Like I said, not the two-ton or the three-ton. They're just too heavy-duty. Now, um, normally you would take a spoon to do this, but uh, since I've been forking things here, thanks for the privacy, by the way. That was great. Usually, like about a tablespoon, just plunk it down right in the middle. Make sure you can, you guys can see that. If you overfill it, you won't get it sealed properly. So I'm going to go like that. Another quick rinse just to show you guys this one. And uh, you can use a handy dandy paintbrush if you want. If you want to get all fancy schmancy 
and get it on there like that and I just use my finger it's no big deal there's a couple different ways you can do this um, I'll show you the fancy way first like they do it in some Chinese restaurants I know and they use water most of the time because they, they like to save on the egg um, you can just paint the centers like this around here and what they do is they bring it up like this Let's see I think I put a little too much I'm hungry that's what happens bring it up fold it over give it a pinch like so get that glue together then open them up here like this yeah it did get too much then they bring it up again and they pinch all in the middle so you have like this little flower and you can see the crab escaping from the top but anyway then you have like a little flower shape and it's pretty and uh, you know you can put them get out of here you can plate them up all around it looks pretty you got little flower type of wontons um, the other way to do it is old school and this is the way I like to do it because they fry easier and there's also like a variation on this thing too so we'll get us another one ton wrapper and we're going to use a little bit less crab meat this time. Try to be smart about this. I know better. I've done this enough. Okay. That's about right. We'll call that good. I'm going to go all the way around with the egg wash. All four corners. Uh, all four sides. Pardon me. Like so. A little more. Get our glue down there. Then, you just do a simple fold like this. Bring it over. Pinch it down. And press. You don't have to beat it down real hard. It'll stick together. That, that's good glue. Sit this guy to the side also. Boom. Now if you want to get real fancy with that, you can actually do the old traditional way. Hit the corners here and do like a fantail at the bottom. Those look pretty too. You have this little pocket that comes out together like so. Cooperate with me. I like that. But... Like I said, do it any way you want, whichever way you see fit. Um, there we go with another tablespoon, approximately. Maybe a little more in there. If you overdo it, you'll know because you won't be able to get them closed. And you just pull a little bit out, no big deal. Alright, so we've got this bad boy here, same thing. Do a fold, fold over, fold over, like so. My Asian friends are going to be pissed. No, they won't. They actually have a good sense of humor when I do this shit. Um, and there you go. And uh, I'll get back to you in a minute with the rest of this. You can serve these crab rangoons. I know, I've been calling them raccoons. It's a joke. You can serve them with noodle dish or like I did tonight. I just did a rice dish uh, with turmeric, garlic, uh, Let's see, I got peppers, onions, carrots, summer squash, uh, there's some broccoli in there, a little bit of everything, you know, the Chinese, the Asian maraqua, if you will. Um, and uh, let's see, I put a little teriyaki soy sauce in there. So that's, you know, you got your appetizers, your crab rangoon, and now you have your rice, and uh, we're good to go. Let's go fry those up. Now, ideally, you're going to want to get your oil um, not quite to a smoking point. You're going to want it between 325 and, three, and uh, 340 degrees. You can, it can go as high as 350. Um, you could use a wok pot, whatever. I'm just using a little uh, pan here that I got. Um, no big deal. Now, you got to be careful when you put these in. You got to put these in. This oil is hot, it will burn you. You can hear it crackling. Um, different ways to slide these in. You can use a wrist rocket or a slingshot um, if you're daring, but I would stand very far back because uh, this will have a tendency to splash and can fuck shit up. And as soon as these bad boys are ready, you're going to want to go ahead and get in there and just give them a little toss, turn them over halfway through. As soon as they get a little brown, good to go. Try not to burn yourself. Now the one, and it's a little hot. Just slide that off, that's okay. Just for a minute. The one that I made like a flower, you don't have to flip him over. Because he's just going to kind of want to come apart if you do. Lost my grip there. Trying to do a camera and operate. Four. There we go. Get him out. All right. I don't know why that got so hot, but all of a sudden, new rains are getting used to. You can see how nice and golden brown they are. And I think my lens steamed up here. I'll work on that. But yeah. 
we introduced those to the heat. And these bad boys are just about done. So I'm going to pull them out and just let them dry here. Um, you can use a wire rack. I don't have one right now. It's out back because I had to do an oil change on my truck. But you're just going to put them down here on this paper towel. These bad boys are ready. Oops. There we go. I don't know what the hell I'm videoing over there. But this is our crab rangoon. Ready to go. All set for a new batch. They're going to dry off there. And we can plate these bad boys up. And you can use any kind of dipping sauce you want. Um, I got a little uh, la choy, sweet and sour. When you say la choy, you say, oh boy. Uh, you could use a little plum sauce, that's always good too. Or teriyaki soy, whatever you want, citrus soy, it's all good. And uh, of course our rice, I'm gonna go and plate that up. I'm getting hungry, I don't know about you. Oh man. Thanks for watching guys. I'm gonna hit a little sweet and sour sauce in this little pocket of crab right here. Mmm, you can hear that crunch, mmm, look at that steam come up, oh that cream cheese and crab, oh man, that's like a pillow of love right there, mmm, mmm, hot, hoo hoo hoo, hot, 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 <laughs> yep, it's a cyber doc with raccoons and crab rangoon, thanks for watching everyone.